Let's move on to our next detector, which is a gamma detector. This is a sodium iodide uh, scintillation detector system. This particular one has a built-in uh, voltage supply. Uh, and without further ado, let's begin to set it out. The first thing we need to do is to hook up the connector that supplies power to the tube. So this goes here. And there are several ways to do this. So you, I can just go around back and hook it up, but you won't see very much. So I can pull this out of the NIM bin, feed this through, and it hooks up in the back right here. And this is feeds the preamps. This is traditionally how it's done. The preamp that I used before, the power to it was fed the same way. There's little slots that this fits in, which I will get in there sooner or later. And now, I can turn on the power to the sodium iodide detector. Let's move over here and look at what the pulses look like coming out of the detector. Okay, so we can take the signal from uh, the sodium iodide we can go into our friend the O-scope, ah, and there they are. We can see the, the gammas there. They're relatively slow pulses. This is set on 200 microseconds, so you can see it takes quite a while for them to come down. Let's see, can I slow it down? Nope. So from here, we're going to take our signal and go into our amplifier and then we're going to take out of our amplifier and let's see what it looks like coming out of the amplifier. Oh my gosh, they're fast. Okay, and they're bigger. So I'm going to go up to a couple of volts. Uh, let's change the level here. There they are. We're going to spread them out and there's our gamma signals. And it looks a whole lot like the same signal that came out of our BF3 tubes. And that's kind of the joy of NIMBINs. They all look the same when it's said and done. So now let's feed this into our MCA and we'll begin to calibrate the sodium iodide detectors. So I'm going to unhook this. I'm going to hook our MCA up. Okay, we've got it hooked up. We've got it headed to our ADC, uh, our MCA. And I have Cobalt 60 check source here, so we have some gammas to play with. And let's start the count. It's going to scan for a second. It will now come up. Ah, there's Cobalt 60. So. This is 1.3 MeV, 1.17 MeV, and you can watch them grow in. So there's two points if I wanted to do an energy calibration. Here I have cesium-137, so let's add it near here. And you'll watch, ah, there's cesium-137. And so now I could find the channel, the centroid of each of these peaks, and I could do a crude or even fairly good energy calibration. To do an absolute calibration, I would have to have a much more fixed geometry than this, and it would have to be like whatever it is I'm trying to measure. So this shows you kind of how it works. 
Now, let's go down and use a high purity germanium detector. And we'll make these peaks so narrow, they look like a single line coming up just about. And this is the best end, the gold standard equipment, of course, is HPGE. We're going to go downstairs into our accounting lab, and I'll see you down there.